frustrating as it just to, these are games, you know, you give up four runs, you're going to win some of those. It's been three months since you guys won a game when you gave up four runs. Um, just how frustrating or, or is that as it piles up like that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I've had enough games where I gave up four runs and the team scored like 10, you know, so. Uh, and I'm I'm trying not to add to the any negativity. <laughs> so, like, it's like I don't know. I don't think I don't really think about that. Like, I don't. I, don't, I mean, it's like I'm I'm sure there's enough guys in there going through things that are tough and frustrating. So for me to sit there and be like, man, it's really frustrating that they're not scoring more runs. Like, that's not fair. You know. Because I know how how much they work, I know how much they care, and you know I know the the quality of the people in there. So for me to you know like I don't know, I just don't think that's fair. You know, um, I guess it's uh, the only thing is that it it's frustrating because I know that I know how good they are. And it's frustrating for me to see some of them get upset and get get down. Although I do feel lately like the guys are in a good spot, and I felt like they were actually in a pretty good spot when everything wasn't going our way. Um, so, but that's the only thing. Like to know to know how good they are, and and to just wish that maybe it was it was going their way a little bit more. But. Other than that, it's like my job isn't to isn't to care about what you know what's going on on the other side of the ball. You, uh, the two pitches, I guess you'd want to have back with those cutters you left over the middle to on the home runs. Other than that, did you feel good about your performance? Yeah, I mean the first one, the first one, the homer to center, like that's a that's a I'm, I'm just trying to steal a strike right there. Like I'm not trying to do anything special with that pitch. I'm just trying to keep it down you know, middle down, middle away. And he kind of just leaned out over, like you could tell how strong, when, when he hit that, I was like, oh wow. Like I didn't, I didn't realize that how vulnerable that spot, uh, that spot was, you know, for, you know, it's like, it was, it was, you know, that my cutter is basically like, I'm stealing strikes with my cutter, you know, and I look back and I think, man, like, for how good my breaking ball was tonight, um, even my changeup, like, when it was a strike, it was pretty good. And my two-seamer, uh, even the four-seamer played at times. So to look back and be like, man, like, cutter, really? Like, that was – those two cutters, that's what decided the game? That's what's frustrating. Like, the like – that's, that's not been a pitch for me, I don't think, ever, where – I was able to like pin it right on a spot. Um, usually I can get it to the outer half. I'll miss away, I'll throw it like way away and I'll miss. But I threw a bunch of them tonight, we're just arm side misses. I threw a bunch of them to Solaire, I got away with them. I got a, the first one to Chappie hit, like that was just their, just arm side. I think that's partly just me kind of being aware too. Like maybe it's just not good tonight. Like maybe the cutter's just not good. The breaking ball was good, you know. Even even if I wasn't getting a ton of swing and miss on it, there was a lot of there was a lot of miss hit. Um, it was just it was a kind of a grind, like throwing strikes, and that's where the cutter usually comes into play. Is when I'm having trouble throwing strikes, I can go to the cutter for a strike because they're not usually they're not looking for a cutter. It's my worst pitch right now. At this point, how do you assess? Your season in terms of just how you felt physically and how you feel like your stuff is playing? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to think about it, really, because every year it's, you know, it changes. Every year my body changes. Um, like in the continuum of my career, there's there's been off seasons where I got hurt or I had surgery and then it messed up my routine going into the off season and then that affected the next season. This this past year, really, the only thing I was concerned with was my finger. 
Um, but on the flip side, I'm, I'm getting older and I have to, I, I have to work a lot harder, especially in the off season to get back to where I was at the beginning of the previous season. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I know my stuff's down. I don't know if it's my delivery. I don't know if it's what it is. Um, but uh, for I think for where I'm at, like I'm okay. Like I don't really know how else to how else to describe it. Um, it's like it, I I think tonight, a, a night like tonight, like if I'm being objective, it's not because I'm 40 years old that I gave up two home runs. It's because I left two cutters. I put through two cutters in spots where they shouldn't have been thrown. And they were better pitches to throw in that situation, and I didn't throw them. So, like, yeah, could I have located them better? Sure. Might have gotten the ball back probably. But, like, the, re the reason why that happened is because I threw my worst pitch in the, for the first one was middle down, which ideally, yeah, I'd, like, pin it down and away. And the one to Chappie is just middle, middle. And he just he, – he, he was swinging the, the bat really, really well. Like he hit, so he hit a few balls really, really hard in this series. So, um, I guess just be a little more careful to a guy like that when you see that. You know, when you see that, you have to have the the recognition that like this dude's seeing the ball pretty well. He's swinging the swinging the bat pretty well. Probably should go to your better pitches. Uh, just one thing, Max. What do you? How pleased have you been to see Max after starting out with an 18 0 18 ERA in his first two starts, and now be a legit candidate for the All Star team again. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know because I I knew in the off season he was working on a couple of things with his delivery, and in spring it's like I don't I don't even know. I saw him pitch a couple of times, and it's like you know he's he's in the prime of his career. You know he gets his he gets his his mix dialed in well enough, and and he throws if he throws strikes, he's fine. You know, if he stays healthy, he's fine. Um, so it's not like I'm looking at, like, a couple starts, like, oh, here we go. Here goes the, you know, it's more just like, man, that was just kind of weird. And it was. It was just kind of weird. Like, uh, I don't – he's not doing anything that I didn't think that he was going to do. Like, um, I don't even remember those starts. I just remember thinking that – Man, he gave up more runs than he does usually in like three months in like a couple outings. But it was more just I think with him it's all it's like he throws pretty much any pitch, any count, and if he's throwing strikes, he's fine. He has deception, he has enough late movement, he's got a mix enough. Um, his stuff's plenty good, so it's really kind of just about like fine tuning with him. I don't really see, I, and I and I remember like like I don't remember thinking, man, this guy's just off, like really off. I just remember thinking, man, that's kind of weird, and then it was. He said he gets something from you, and you or Chris, like basically every day, you learn something from you guys. Do you feel good about that? That you have that he sees you guys as such a resource. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're friends, so, um, I think, I think he trusts us, and I think, um, I think he's got an, enough of an idea of what he's trying to do, and he's steadfast in his own ways, that he can filter that, like, he can filter information from other guys, and I think that's probably, you know... But yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a, a nice nice thing to have, like some older guys. But really, I mean, he's he's figured out what he's trying to do. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I know you say you got to stay patient, but you look at all these games that, that feel winnable. You know, you give up four runs, you're thinking, you know, you can win. Those are games you, you win a lot of times. You have won one since April 17th. Um, 
I don't want to say are you frustrated, but, but or you, you just have to say that things will get better when you get healthy. Yeah, no, I, I it's, yeah, pretty much. That's how I got to look at it and how I believe, honestly. I mean, I just, um, as I've said before, every year is its own separate little thing. You don't know what it's going to be, and it's um, different this year than it has been the last few years. It's just something that that's baseball. And, um, you know, we had chances again tonight. I, it's, I, like I said the last time, um, Grant Holmes kept us in the game, you know, held it right there. Um, you know, I mean, Charlie threw the ball okay. He, it, it's, you know, we score a few runs, he wins the game. But it's just the way this thing works. And, and um, we're going to keep working at it and trying to find the right mix till we get, you know, um, get the guys back. So it's just one of those things you got to grind through. Has Arizona kind of spoiled us because we get so used to seeing them never slump and he goes through maybe a rough week and it feels like. Yeah, which is going to happen. I mean, it's just kind of, it's not realistic to think that the guy's not going to, you know, all players do. The best ones, the best teams do, the best players do. This is just such a hard game that, that there, there's going to be Things like that happen, and um, and that's when you hope you know other guys get it going. You know, uh, <clears throat> you know, felt good. You know, kind of jumped out a little bit in first inning, and cause that guy's rough, man. I mean, I, I looked at his line, and I mean, he goes in seventh inning every time he pitches. I mean, he's like a un, I don't know. He's probably an underappreciated guy in the big leagues. Uh, how good he is, and what he covers and, and I just just watching him pitch is it's really good. Um, and it's it's a tough ride with his assortment and the command and all that and but, you know, we had we had opportunities and like I say Grant did a great job keeping the game there, um, for us to come back. What he's done. He's, I think he's had one game where he gave up anything. No, it's, it's been awesome, and you need a guy like that. You know, you need somebody to come out of that bullpen, go multiples, and give you a chance to come back and get to your back end guys. Um, <clears throat> and he, he's he's just done a great job. You know, I'm so happy for him. And um, but it's just you know he he just keeps pitching. And some of these close losses is it, is, is it as simple as just a big hit here there? Yeah. And one more? Yeah, I think so. You know, get guys on, get a big hit, pierce a gap, things like that. Um, you know, uh, yeah, pretty much. It's like we're not playing bad baseball or anything like that. It's just kind of struggling. To, that's why I always, I've, I've been saying, and I'll continue to say it, that I just feel like, you know, we haven't had that run. You know, we had a run early, then we got a bunch of injuries and all that, and now I, I still think we're, we're, you know, we're going to get on it one of those runs again. Hitters kind of going at different times. How, how tough is that to get on one of those yeah. rope runs? I know. Yeah, and that's and that's the key when you get them all going. And uh, man, if I could figure out how to do that, what the formula was. <laughs> so we've talked about the consistency with Grant Holmes, but mechanically speaking, is there anything that stood out to you that's kind of made him so successful? It just it, you know the efficiency, pretty much. He throws strikes. And he's got out pitches, and that's the biggest thing. I mean, he's not bouncing around the strike zone. He's in the strike zone, and, you know, throwing his, his breaking ball is a, you know, a swing and miss pitch, and he doesn't have to throw it for a strike to get that. And he just he's efficient when he goes out there, which is really good. Now we can give him a day or two off and then use him again. I know you always like to say every game is – Counts the same, but what, what kind of opportunity does this team have this weekend with the Phillies coming to town? Yeah, I, I don't think this is a do or die weekend by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's, um, uh, yeah, I, honestly, I don't. You know, we want to win this this series coming into this weekend. It's it's big. It's a division rival, so those are always big. You know, can and so many teams in our division are, you know, right there too. So you know, it's a it's a big series. You know, it's, a, it's kind of why you play this, to get series like this. Um, so, and we're going to face their, you know, they're, we're not facing Wheeler, but we're facing the other guys. Um, but, yeah, it's a big series. And, you know, you, you win this series, you, you feel like you're, there's still a chance. And 
I guess if you lose it, there's still a chance. But I mean, from a mental standpoint, I guess it could really help. No, I think any time you win a series, I think from that mental stance now where we're at, we kind of looking to build on all the positives. So yeah, it'd be it'd be really good to to go out and win this series. I mean, we got, you know we can't win series, we win tomorrow. So that's the only game we're focused on right now. On the Olson play at home, if you're a third base coach, do you look at it as you take your chances? If I'm, no, it's not even a chance. If I'm a third base, I told Tui, I said you, it, it's I send that guy probably ten out of ten times. Um, they, they made a great relay. I mean, it, I mean, it was about as clean and as quick a relay as you can. But because I was looking at that and and um, you know where the runner was and can, that's probably thirty or thirty syndrome on that one right there. They just they made the play. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.